Hello. You can't see it. I thought maybe for a second you'd be able to, but Kepler's in my chair. Oh, I should move my mouse back over here to where I need it to be. Hi, everyone. Kepler. Sweetheart. I need to sit there. Yes, I do. You're very cute. Oh, you are so cozy. How about you sit on my lap for a little bit? We do not like to be picked up. No, we don't. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday night. You gonna sit down for a minute or are you gonna leave? What are we doing? Hi. Good boy. I was getting ready and setting things up and I went to get fresh water for paint water and um, he took my chair. Who's a good boy? You gonna lay down? We'll do the beginning of stream with me and then um, I may have to kick you out. You're just gonna sit. Oh, we're leaving, okay. That way's not safe to jump. Why don't you go this way? Bye. Hi everyone. <laughs> The perfectly good sleeping spot. The one where all the people are. Hi everyone. It's Monday. We're working on this canvas because we finished big canvas last week. <laughs> Grisa, is that a mix of grizzly and gazelle? Um, it means, oh shoot, what does it mean? Gris is gray in French. Um, I forgot the literal translation. I know it too and it's just gone because I've, taking a tour of Raleigh today. <laughs> and then I got home and I was like, oh shoot, it's seven o'clock. Um, how am I tonight? I'm good, I've had a great day. I rode out, went to the P.O. Box. Isn't it grayscale? Is that what it is literally? I need to find out, it's going to haunt me. Literal. Literally translating to grayness. <laughs> Raleigh zaps your French knowledge. Raleigh traffic is something. It was wild today. <sighs> so it means grayness. So the grayness of the painting. It's no longer there, but that's how it was. But I'm doing well. I've had a good day. Got to go out, got to see some stuff, got some errands done, went to the P.O. box, got home and I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna stream tonight. We have a 12 month resub from Penguin Frog. Oh, you need paintbrush clicks. Paintbrush, paintbrush, paintbrush clicks. Thank you, Penguin Frog. Good job on Earth. Thank you for reaching a year. Uh, we have six month resub from The Great Perhaps, seven months from A Good Way Game Leet, 305 bits from Screaming Salad Radish, who says, uh, can I get some good vibes? I found out I need a tooth pulled, my wisdom teeth out, and have to get cavities filled. Sarcastic yay for mouth pain. Honestly, anything like dentistry is just like horror to me. I hate it. I hate dealing with it. I hate going to the dentist. Anytime there's anything major with it, I am unhappy. Yes, I know the dryer is done. Thank you. You don't need to tell me. Watch, I can hear it. Um, that's a lot to get all done at once. I hope it's not too terrible or it can get like done at once and then you don't have to worry about it because that's not fun. Like, honestly, the dentist is like my least favorite thing ever <laughs> because I had so many troubles when I had, um, I cracked one of my teeth, 15 molar, um, and I had to have a root canal on it and a crown put on it. And that was um, a whole thing and I really hated it. So um, I hope that that goes well. Good vibes to you. Uh, we have a 10 month resub from SmartGuy93 and 10 months from Daniel Bonin. Thank you both. Uh, Grisai can also, in certain art can mean in one color. Okay. I did think for a second, but I was thinking of the term a la prima, which means all at once, 
when you do a painting all at once. You start it and finish it all at once. That's a la prima. The other night I had pulled up in a sleep deprived haze. <laughs> what is the ballet term for carriage of the arms? And I couldn't remember despite it being super common, but I remembered in English what it meant despite never calling it that once in ballet class. <laughs> and then I had that tab pulled up, read it, put my phone down, and then the next morning was like, what was I thinking about last night that I had to like look this up? It's port bra Refers to how you hold your arms in ballet. Oh, I can't do this with everything in the way. Like just the way you have your arms with ballet. All right, so we are working on the grease eye tonight. Um, I printed it off like I said I would last week because I set a reminder like during stream to do that. So I printed that off. And um, I'm honestly super happy seeing them next to each other like this. I was like, oh dang, that looks good. Um, so we have lighter greens to work into. Um, back here, you can kind of see it's lighter right here. Like I have to work on that. Um, and I just kind of have to build more and more layers to this. Um, just like I was with the big painting, doing it the same way too. And everything like the super light stuff that I have here where I was doing it so I could do the glaze for the grease eye, like that's going to get paint on top, but I did it this way so it wouldn't be as transparent and need a lot of paint on it, unlike the big canvas. So um, we're making progress. But I wanted to print it because I was having a hard time seeing it on the iPad because it's so dark. And like seeing these two next to each other is super interesting. Cause this is big canvas. I was working at it this way. This is big canvas and then this is the little one. So those are the two. So I have um, nothing prepared because like I said, I got home and was like, shoot, seven o'clock. Quick eat a protein bar. Oh, so what do I want to work on first? Um, like there's a few things I could do. I could keep working on leaves. The sky is done. The path needs done because the path has like not been touched at all yet. Um, so there's a lot of that to do. Is bidding up for big canvas yet? No, I want to have both of these done together because I want to see them together first. <laughs> So this needs to get done before I do anything. And I also need to do some research to see if I can ship Big Canvas because Big Canvas does not fit in my current boxes that I ship normal canvases in, my 18 by 24s. So I need to do some research and that's not gonna be happening for a little bit yet. And I wanna get this done too. So there's like a few reasons why that's happening. Um, but both will definitely be on Redbubble. And then once I do that research, I will know exactly what's happening with eBay because I need to do that research before anything goes up on eBay. Because there's some other factors I need to figure out. Will I finish this one tonight or will it take multiple streams, Slick Duke asks. This will probably take more streams um, because I have not gotten into the super light color leaves yet. Like I know it looks more complete, but that's just because of all of the silhouettes. So there's gonna be a bit yet with this. So definitely one more than this. I'll see how I feel at the end. I'll probably be able to make that call a bit better after tonight's stream. So, but I have not prepped any paint. And I think I need to move into a lighter color because I think I want to get this stuff back here done so that I can work like back on top of that. The stuff that's like, flat in the back. <laughs> Alien Soup says, it canvas is too big. Too big. It is nice though, because that canvas has followed me around for a few years and I've just never had something I felt like needed to go on it. And it was perfect for like this painting, right? Like it just fit it super well. It was like, the ratio's right. I'm happy about that. Good. All right, palette knife. This is what happens when I'm not prepared. I'm like all spaced out and I'm like, wait, where is everything? I have not moved things in their normal locations. Everything is everywhere. At least I have water 
and I thought I had to have a snack because <laughs> I didn't really eat much today. I was like, oh, I'll get home. I'll have leftover nachos because that's what we had last night. And then I'll like, then I'll go turn stuff on and I got home and I was like, oh, I don't have time for that. That's okay. I'll have a protein bar and I'll eat nachos after. Lunar says, happy Monday. Yeah. But I've had a good day. I got a lot of stuff done. I went out. I feel like I've been cooped up because we had COVID all of January, or not January, we had COVID all of February and now it's March and I am well again. You need water for hydrating yourself and your paints. The other thing I did last night, no, I did this Saturday, is, um, so one of the things I do is I have all my paint water and you can't see because this container is opaque. Anyway, this gets full of paint. Like, you know, if you haven't painted, like when you were in elementary school, you'd like wash your brush and the water would get super gross. <laughs> Time to get back to biking 20 miles. <sighs> I went 11 the other day. And I felt good, it wasn't too bad. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Paint water. When you use professional level paints, um, it's not great to dump that down the sink, especially if you're using like cadmium and cobalt, which I don't normally use. And I, I don't know if I've used even in the last few years, I tend to stay away from it because those heavy metals are a bit more toxic. But I started treating my paint wastewater when I was researching and learning about it. And I was like, yeah, I should do this. So I treat all of my paint wastewater and I have a gallon bucket that it all goes into. And once that gets full, um, you treat it. So you have, one of the chemicals is lime something. I forget offhand. And you treat it with the one and then you let it sit and it gathers all of the paint solids in the water. And um, it like kind of combines them and separates out like water particles. And then you treat it with the second one to reduce like the acid and base levels of it. And that helps everything kind of, it kind of coagulates, but not like a jello. Like it just gathers all of like the paint solids, like this stuff, like the dried paint pieces that are in the water and they sink because they're heavier than water. And then you filter them out because they've gathered together. And then you can throw that away and dump the remaining stuff down the drain because it's safe at that point. And it's fine if you like goes in the trash because once it totally dries out, like it's not going to dissolve or anything. Like it's dried out, dusty, and that's fine to throw away into the household trash, but you don't want it to go down into the pipes. So when you're using professional paints, like that's what I've started doing. And I really like that. And it looks cool. It's disgusting because when you let paint water sit for however long it takes for you to gather a gallon of it. For me, it doesn't take super long, but when I'm painting only once a week, it takes a little bit longer nowadays. Um, it does start to smell a little bit, but it's inside a covered bucket. So whenever I open it to add more paint water to it, that's when I'm like, oh, gross, it stinks. All right, palette is cleaned off finally. We have a 12 month three sub from Elfie Goldfish. Thank you. Paint click, paintbrush clicks. Thank you for hitting the gear. Um, in school, one of the things they have in art rooms or they should have is they should have um, traps to collect things down the drain. Like if you're doing ceramics or painting so like in my classroom where I taught, we had those and we had those in college for sure. Um, I don't know anything about them. I never had to do the maintenance on them. I just know that the drains had them. All right, palette knife. Let's pull out some of our primaries and then we'll keep working on this. Oh boy, that was a little much. 
Sometimes I like push on these to kind of like get the bottoms pushed out a little bit before I move to the, the crinkle thing. And um, then all the paint is at the nozzle. Oh, we have five gift subs from Elfie Goldfish. Thank you so much. Oh, I like the hearts in chat. Is that new or is that like something that's just default that Steven has turned off? But I really like the hearts. They like have this like, they start large and they get graduate, gradually smaller. I like that. Those five gift subs from Elfie went to Kiwi Lee Scipio, Darflar, KRC David, Mr. Buck, the Crime Dog, and Calamari Gigi. Thank you, Elfie. <laughs> Julia says, wow, it's been a year of Malmakes. Right? Storm says, I believe it's a theme you can select. I don't know. <laughs> You can choose an icon when you gift sub. Oh, okay, cool. All right, we are making a lighter green. Let's see, what else happened today? I finally changed my uh, piercing studs in my third piercing spots. Um, and those I had done, when did I have them done? January. Um, and there was too much movement in the studs I had them pierced with, or, you know, after they pierced it, the ones they put in. Um, the posts were too long. And I didn't really have time to run out there and get them shortened. So I just decided to switch to my own earrings because that kind of happened when I had my second ones done. And I was like, I'm just gonna switch to my own earrings and it'll finally stop being a problem because there was too much movement and it's still healing and that movement isn't what you want. So I did that and um, it already feels a ton better. But while I did that, I switched my seconds to the size down. So I'm trying to have like this graduated look and uh, I didn't want to switch the first piercing yet, the main one that I had, the older ones. So I might do that tomorrow so that I finally have them like all set the way I've been planning for like a year now, how I wanted it to look for the set, for the stack. So I'm mixing up a green and like this is way too green to go to next from the dark green I had last week. Where do I get my studs from? So the all of them that I have in right now are the brand Comfy Earrings. They're based out of Texas. And all of their stuff is stainless steel, I wanna say. But they have a set that are um, like implant grade titanium. And I really like them. And that's kind of what I'm planning to wear most of the time because that's been fine in my ears. Like it hasn't bothered them at all. Um, my sister has a nickel allergy, but I don't. But I also find that when I wear earrings that are cheap metal, I have problems. So I started wearing the, like the surgical implant grade titanium and that's been good. I've liked that. Any piercings I wanna get? Um, like I thought about getting like cartilage piercings up here, but watching Haley deal with her helix piercing, I don't know if I want to anymore. So I might be done, because these three are all just lobe piercings, so they're not as difficult. So. <laughs> um, anyway, there's another company I'm looking at for earrings. What are they called? And I, what I want to do is I want to get a bunch of different um, sets. So I want to have like a fun set, um, a silver set, and then a, um, a silver and a gold formal set for like, if I have to go to a wedding or something. Cause I have these really lovely big drop chandelier earrings Carly gave me for being her maid of honor. And I really love them. And they're really nice because Kyle's mom um, is a jeweler, but I need to have two matching ones to go with it now. Cause I don't have anything that looks good and matches. 
Body Art Forms. That's the company I want to order from. So I want to get some things from them that kind of fit that criteria. Like I want to have um, like a space theme set that I can wear for fun. And then I want a formal set and then kind of like an everyday set. Because the ones I have from Comfy Earrings, like that's all of them I have in right now. Um, the implant grade ones, like, I think it's too big for my ear. Because I didn't put in the third one yet. I have this like cubic zirconia in. It's bigger than that. And I think it looks ridiculous on my ears. <laughs> So, I don't know, I think I just need to go through body art forms and get, like, a set of plain implant grade ones that won't bother me, that I can just wear all the time. And, like, you can also have them, what's it called, where you put that in the solution for a time and it turns colors. Some of you will know, I know some of you know what that's called. We have three month resub from Raven Shepherd. Thank you. I don't think this is dark enough yet. I think this is still too light. Because when I put it down on top of last week's color that's on the palette, it's too bright. So I think I might just mix a little bit of that into it, honestly. The space set is the everyday set. As long as it's the right material, that wouldn't bother me. I just need something I can wear for long periods of time that won't bother my ears. That's like my everyday set. Yes, breathe wildly, that's it. That's it, when you can put it in the electric current and it changes colors. That's what I want. I want like a blue set and you can do it in like a gradation from like light blue to dark blue. So I wanna have like the size gradation and then also the color. That's what I want to do for like an everyday set. Okay, this is much better of a color. We're gonna go with this. Amara says, I'm working on a crochet blanket. So I feel like I'm co-working. Oh, I love that. Chrysalium says, I just looked at body art forms and wow, these are gorgeous. They have some really cool stuff. And I feel like some of it is super reasonably priced if you're looking for something that's like a quality implant grade metal. They have some stuff that's more expensive, but they're like actually gold plated and stuff, but that's not what I need. So, but they do have a lot of variety and they have stuff for all different piercings. Um, but you do need to know like what gauge you need and like the posts are sold separately from the ends. So you have to know, and yeah, Sombra Nora says you have to be careful because sometimes you order a pair and sometimes you order singles. Not all earrings are sold in pairs, but not all earrings are sold as singles either. So you have to kind of like really pay attention. And from what I understand, they're super helpful. So if you have trouble, you can just like email them or whatever. And like, they'll actually get back to you and like help you make sure that you have what you need in the order. But if I do like a space set, what I wanna do is I don't wanna have it be the same on both sides. Like I wanna do like maybe a moon, a star, and then like a shooting star. And then like over here, maybe there's like a Saturn planet and a sun and then like a different type of moon or star. So I wanna have like not matching stuff if I do that. but I started putting stuff in a cart and they don't have like a account make favorites, which I wish they did. Cause then I would just save a bunch of stuff and be like, oh yeah, these. But for now I need my third piercings to kind of calm down and like not giving me any problems. So when that's done, I'll look at stuff. We have a 10 month resub from Toku Newt. Thank you. All right, I mixed up the green color I need and we're gonna put this here and move it so I don't have a glare. But now you guys can't see any of the detail. Noah, I would love that, especially Pip. 
All right. So I mixed up a lighter green and unfortunately you can't tell much. Hmm. Guess it needs to go lighter, whoops. This has lyrics, so I will have to switch it. Pip got big? Oh, great. I thought he wasn't going to. So that's wild. Okay. Anyway, now I have to lighten this green up. <laughs> and I'm trying to decide if I wanna make it more saturated, but I think I don't. I think I just wanna add titanium white to it because this painting's slightly more muted than the big painting. Snow Fox says, sometimes runts catch up. I have no idea. I had a friend whose cat sometimes had kittens, but like, I don't know anything about it. No, so the vet was like, nah, he won't grow. I didn't think he would get any bigger. <laughs> we have 11 months for Mike, who says, uh, I had my students look at the hind period from our feudal art Japan lesson, also mini canvas. Cool. I was just doing some reading on different eras in Japan. More titanium white. I don't want this to get too light too quick because we need to have layers. Yep, there we go. That's what I needed to look like. Yep. Vegabon says Pip about to pull a Clifford. That would be wild. One of the things I'm struggling with with this is to see exactly where everything sits. Because I get lost looking at all of these leaves. And like, I'll be working up here and then I have to find where that is on the photo.
This one's also a lot faster to work on. Wonder why that is. <laughs> Good evening, Moose. Welcome. Was that lyrics too? Did it already switch? Is this the same song? I was distracted by painting. A lot less rotating, that too. Like I'm already done with this green color. So we go on to another lighter green color and I save half of this in case I need it again. Let's see what's going on. Last night we watched Dune. Vlog spoiler, sorry, but we watched Dune last night. Dune one, part one. I had never seen it. Dan had seen it. Haley is really into Dune. Um, Jeff had read the books, but I had no idea what it was about. Yeah, part one, not the newest one. I enjoyed it. I didn't know what to expect. I knew there was sand and I knew there was worms. And um, I wasn't wrong. Has Jeff read all of them? No, I don't remember where he said he had stopped reading, but he has read a handful of them, a good number of them. Were the worms your favorite character? So I made a lighter green and I'm also making it slightly more yellow and it's not there yet. We have an 11 month reset from PK Daisy. Thank you. Because I want to warm this green up a little bit because I think this is looking a little cold and the whole thing needs to be warmer. No, way more yellow, oh my gosh. So yellow is a color that you tend to wanna to start with if you're mixing colors. You wanna start with your lightest colors, which is normally like titanium white if you're making a lighter color. You start with that and enter everything else to it. But if you're using just like your regular color wheel colors, you start with yellow. If it's something that needs yellow. <laughs> because it takes a lot more yellow to influence a color than it takes another color to influence the yellow. Okay, that is different enough. This is very like start of a movie, like start of a Disney movie song.
Bambi was my favorite movie as a kid, Silent Companion. I learned how to work the VHS so I could watch the beginning of, or not, like the happy part. And I would just watch it and rewind it and watch it and rewind it. I'm really happy with this part over here, but this part over here doesn't have as much as like this part over here. Like there's a lot more to that part. Oh gosh, you have a glare. This side has way more to it than this side. <laughs> Pokemon Princess says, apparently I would hide when Bambi's mom got killed. I did that watching Wizard of Oz whenever um, the Wicked Witch would show up because she would like scream and there would be like the lightning thunder noises and like flashing on the screen, I would hide for that. We have an 11 month resub from Lunar Pearl, thank you. So this tree trunk that I drew in here needs to kind of end about here. So we're just gonna tap in some leaves on top of that. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go in with a tiny brush and do some detail work in here. Where else does this go? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes, I do think I have to go into detail work and stop tapping in with the fun brush that makes it easier and faster. This is gonna be blurry a little bit, but you can start to see the colors I'm building in, in some of those areas, the lighter greens. I'll do a zoom in at the end if you remind me. Lunar says, it's like if we're seeing it in person and need glasses. Maybe someday I'll have overhead cam and then like close up zoom in cam. All right, what I need now is I need small brush and I need to mix up probably kind of a dull orange to bring in some more warmth. And I have a little bit of that from Big Canvas still that I think I can get away without mixing it. So I need an appropriate size brush, too big. Are you what I want? Yeah, you're the right size. So what I'm going to have to do is just bring in little hints of this kind of back here. And what I should do is I should not use water because that's not the smart thing to do. We don't water down paints with water. <laughs> Vagabond says, more cameras you say. 
Stephen's not currently home to hear me say that and agree to that. But he knows it's true. So there's a little bit of like warm tone up in here. And there's just like hints of it throughout this area. Up, down, curl one, straight out, here. This needs a little bit of red. I love Double Dash. I think it's my favorite Mario Kart. I played a lot of N64, but Double Dash was something I felt like I was really good at. Like, I don't know, I picked it up and I just felt like I did really good at it compared to like when we would play Mario Kart 64. I don't know, maybe I just felt like the it's floaty, isn't it? Or like slidey? I don't know, there's something about it that I just do better at. I feel like I have a fighting chance against people if I play Double Dash over any of the other Mario Karts. I need some more yellow too, because I need to have a lighter orange. So like over here, we need to start building in the bright colors that come through. because everything that has the, the stained glass effects, like this stuff, needs to be covered. It should not look like that anywhere when I'm done.
I think I need to bring in more of the dark green at some point between the black and then the lighter parts. It just doesn't feel right. I also think I'm getting some of the tiny pinpricks through the canvas. Which I don't want. And I think that adding some more green in some spaces will take care of that for me. Cause like this part looks really good. I'm happy with this. Yeah, and like, uh, I need to have more green come in here. but I can see it better in this photo than I could on the iPad before. So that's kind of helpful. Happy early birthday, Sombra Noir. Birthday's next week. So many spring birthdays. Where did the little brush go? There's the little brush. You share a birthday with Steven? Oh, cool. So I started using um, not liquid carbon black for some of these tree trunks, and I think I like it better. It's slightly grayer, so it kind of fades into the background a little bit more naturally, I think. At least down here where I need it to do that.
That might have been too much. Oops. Fix that. So when I use these bristle brushes to tap in paint, I like to be able to um, keep them dry because I have a little bit more success in tapping and getting the right texture than I do if they're damp. So it's kind of a pain when I have to switch colors too much. That feels better. I'm glad I worked in that area for a little bit. I, 
think I need to bring in even a lighter color in the flat background part. And maybe some yellow in there. That's too desaturated. We need more color in that. And that's too light. We're talking about blizzards from DQ. Oh, I can just go to Culver's. It's a bit out, but like I can just go to Culver's. If you go to Culver's, I'll go to Culver's. Steven has the car though. I can't go yet. I think I need to make more of a true orange too. That feels better. Okay. Well, Vagabond says, what are husbands for if not food delivery? <sighs> Maybe. But I have leftover nachos to make. And I'm excited about that. All right, so this background part back here is done. I just need to start bringing back in, this is probably the best green, yeah. Um, the stuff that sits in front of it. Mm, I take that back, this was not dark enough. It's barely too light, so I'll just mix these two greens together. And I'm also worried I made this too light, but um, can't stop that now.
Seb says, are you still watching uh, Spy Family? I finished what was on Hulu. So whatever's on Hulu, I finished. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> I really liked it. It was a lot of good, uh, fun. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find where this tree trunk sits. Um, yeah, it's funny, but then there's also some like fun, serious stuff. Which I liked. This tree trunk comes all the way down to the front here. That's what I was trying to find. War Turtle says, cute and dark at the same time. Yeah. Chrysalium says, Spy Family's on Hulu? Uh, Hulu bought out um, Crunchy. So it's on there. A friend of mine adores it. And their like Tumblr account is the reason I was like, I should watch this. <laughs> Noah says, I love my Hulu extra crunchy. This is looking good. Like this little part right here, happy with that. I just kind of have to figure where I want to work next. I should probably finish this right here. Because this part is like still tied to that part. And then I should probably like pick a side and kind of work tree by tree up and tree by tree up instead of jumping around like I am because I'm starting to miss where my colors are going. So let's work on this little part right here because it's all the same colors as I have and I should use those up. And this is part of the little bit of stained glass from the grease eye that I need to fill in anyway. That's way too bright. <laughs> Gotta tone that down. Ooh, fix that. too light with that.
This is too bright. Mm, got to tone it down. Sometimes it's back and forth. So I'm basically just taking like a dirtier green and going over it just so it's not as eye catching. All right, what side do I actually want to work on with this painting? <laughs> which one do I want to fight and struggle with and which one do I not? Because what's going to happen is I'm going to do one of these and it's going to go great and the other one is going to be a pain and I'm going to struggle and I'm going to be not happy about. That's what's going to happen. Because that's how it goes. It's the same when you're like drawing. You're like, oh, this part looks really good. And then it's like, oh, this part is not great. And I'm thinking I want to do the left side first. Sapphire Becker says, what did I come back to? I caught some of it and I'm like, no. Here's the thing, the left side has way more color and way more detail. So part of me wants to wait. <laughs> but I'm like working on it because I kind of did like this whole portion down here. This part of the painting is done inside my hand. Like not the path, but like here and here is done. And a little bit up into here. We gotta do a little bit more in here. Noah, it's not okay. <laughs> Katsuki says, mouse hit the bricks with us. Yeah. Jeff just made eggs the other day. He came over and made eggs. When was that? Sunday morning? I'm gonna cover up these paints for a second and just take a short break. Not like a walk away break, but like a painting break. I also need to like get all this paint off my hands. What I really want is there's cookies downstairs and I wanna have a cookie. But that involves like washing my hands to actually like touch the cookie because I have paint. I should use soap and I have to go get it. And there's no one here to get it for me. Kepler cannot. <laughs> Spicy eyes. Ooh, I have an optometry appointment coming up. <laughs> Will Kepi steal the chair? I think he's in his chair, the one that sits next to his uh, auto feeder. That's where he tends to hang out. My eyes were spicy earlier, I was chopping onions. So I found that if I wear my contacts, my eyes don't water as much chopping onions, but if I wear my glasses, then they water. I think the contacts give me a little bit of protection. Summer Nora says, can confirm. Eye shields. Yeah, that's part of it, isn't it? Yep, 
Yeah, I had to make an optometry appointment. So, um, actually, Steve and Brandon and I are all going at the same time. But it works, because then it's just done. <laughs> the choice of thoroughly washing your hands after chopping your onions, but before taking out your contacts. Yeah, I made that mistake with jalapenos once. Did not like. <laughs> Family eye trip. I just made us all haircut appointments too. Steven and I have a haircut on Wednesday and Brandon had one a week ago, week and a half ago. I thought Brandon was Steven's secretary. Not this month. <laughs> Noah says, I need a haircut. Noah, call now. Get a haircut. Vegabun says, imagine getting a haircut. I don't get one as often as they do. Steven's hair is very poofy right now. Sapphire Becca says, poof, no, nah, not here much longer. Yeah, it's real poofy. So he'll have it tomorrow for breakfast stream and the finale of Moon. But um, he won't have it Wednesday. No, it says the girl who normally cuts my hair is on maternity leave. Oh, I went to her mom and she botched it. I'll wait. Okay, fair. <sighs> I'm looking at this and I think I changed my mind. I want to work on the right side because I feel like I could finish it tonight. Moon finale one tomorrow. Tomorrow one Eastern daylight savings time Eastern. What time is it now? Eight? 17 hours? Hi, Thomas. Thomas says, Mal. Thomas, I'm painting. See painting? This is what it's gonna look like when I'm done. How many hours? I know you know the answer to that, Thomas. <laughs> Those are both pictures. This one's a painting. This one is a photograph. See how like shiny it is and there's no texture on it? And this one? See, it's like kind of matte. And like some of the paints have slight glares to them. I'm sorry, you are brain rot. Is the painting, is a painting a picture? Yeah, but these are different. Don't do that, stay there. Like, see, see. <laughs> I posted a picture on Twitter and on Blue Sky of them next to each other, so you could see. But it's coming along well. I've been working at this tiny stuff down here and then a little bit into this and a little bit up here. So I'm thinking I might finish this side because this side's more in silhouette and there's less colors and I have all of these colors mixed already. So I think I might just finish that part tonight because that part I can do. So let's make a plan because I want to take a break from painting for a second and we'll write down the plan. So I remember. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by painting right side stuff. Grease eye. Right side. Trees. Um, and then what, path? And then left side trees. There, my notes, <laughs> three things. Thomas said, painting is just like slow, better Photoshop. Um, I learned Photoshop before I ever did a painting. So when I moved to painting and drawing in college, it was kind of um, upsetting that I didn't have layers and I couldn't undo things. That was upsetting. 
60, okay. Thank you. A future mal problem. Yeah, that's so mal can remember what she needs to do next stream. <laughs> Just paint control and Z keys. Control and Z, wait. Oh, now I can't think of where Z is on a keyboard. Black paint is just control Z. On this one, kind of. <laughs> Bottom left. Why was I thinking top left? That's Q though, because it's QWERTY. See, I had a protein bar, but it was not enough food. What did I eat today? I had a yogurt. That was all I had and then a protein bar. I know I need more, I just got home late and I didn't have time. Am I thinking of a Zerti? I've never used any other keyboard layout though. All right, we're working on the right side of this. Um, I think What do I want to do? What is this supposed to be? Because this is here. This is nothing. <laughs> Why did I paint this? I think I need to bring in the darker colors and move into the lighter colors again. Summer Norse says, remember pagers? My dad had a pager. When I was young, he had to be basically on call for work all the time and he had a pager and then he got a cell phone. And the most memorable of which was a razor flip phone, of course. My dad was the first person I knew with a cell phone and a beeper and um, a home computer and internet access. So like I'd visit my dad and he had those things, but like my mom didn't adopt that technology for a while. So I remember like having to write a paper in elementary school, maybe middle school and like being unable to do it at home on the computer. But I also remember like writing a paper in elementary school at my dad's house or a book report or something like that. Um, I think maybe we had to do research on something we were interested in. And I think I picked the planet Saturn and using like the 90s word art graphics from Microsoft Word and like putting Saturn up there. And we had Encarta 95 and taking the photo of Saturn from Encarta 95 and putting it in my report. And like, that was like really cool at the time. <laughs> I know I sound so old. Core memory unlocked, Encarta. Yeah, and you would go through and you could find like some articles that would have like a movie and that was just wild that there was like a little tiny like 20 second clip you could watch on the computer. The game that came with it? Yeah, there was a game that was like hidden in Encarta. Wild times, mind maze, yeah, that was it. So this like line with the paintbrush handle I have here, everything down from here is kind of just solid carbon black. And then we have everything to here being greenery. And then from here up, we have some greenery, but it's that's where the sky comes in. Cause you don't really see sky below this line. And then you don't see green below this line. So I'm starting by tapping in the darkest green I have. Where was I just tapping that? Cause normally I put a little on the brush and then I tap on a blank part and um, I couldn't find where I put that. So I'm just kind of working that this way.
And then after I do this, and I should wrap the canvas while I'm up to it because then I won't hate myself later and be upset about not doing that. I should use a bigger brush, but I'm not. Lost a bristle. Don't stay there. You can't live there. And then we're going to move on to a lighter green. And bring a little bit of this into some places. And then an even lighter green. And we don't need much of this one. Then we'll switch to small brush. and we'll start to bring in some of this definition. I think I need to bring some more carbon black into this area. But I can get to that in a bit. That does not have to be done this second. Still talking about old games so a friend of mine 
Um, there was ever, there was a game I played at her house only and I never knew what the name of it was. And I think I talked about this re recently. Um, and like all I could remember of it was it played like Chip's Challenge, but it was set in space. And later in life when I finally played Continuum in college, um, it looked, and I was like, Continuum reminds me of this game. And I couldn't think of the name of it. And I spent a very long time trying to figure out what this game was called. And then I finally found it. And it was called Adventures with Chickens. And it was a um, Christian religious game. And I didn't know that, like playing it as a child. Cause it had like Bible verses in it. But um, it was wild to like go see it later and play it and be like, oh my gosh, this is that game. And it came as a two pack with something else. And I only know that like since I looked it up as an adult. And I don't know what the other game is. And I don't think I ever played the other game. Hmm, how do I feel about this? I think it's too bright. I think I need to tone it down. Okay. Now I can finish the tree trunks on the lower part of these trees and then we'll work above that line.
So I'm trying to just give hints of tree trunks throughout here. I think you guys can see it start to build through here. It's hard, I think, to see because it's dark colors on dark colors. The left side will be easier once I start getting into that. Vagabond says, we're still trying to figure out what to do with channel points. We have no idea what to call them. I can say that there are new emo uh, emotes coming. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'm very happy with them. Droplets, brush strokes, hmm. Pigments, ooh, I kind of like pigments. Let me make a note about that. Where's my notes of oh, this sort of thing? Nope, that's a trash, there we go. Channel makes channel points names pigments. Why do I put the paintbrush in my mouth? Um, because I didn't want to set it down. where all of the little marks are that are um, just from the canvas texture. I think I need to darken this area up a little bit. Okay, you can kind of see there where I've been working.
Okay, so this little triangle here, this is what I want to work on yet. And then we will do a zoom in. When I do this, this is my dirtiest paint cup, this one. So I'm like cleaning that off because I have those paint pucks on the bottom. And then this one is next. And then this one is the cleanest paint cup. So like this one gets most of the paint off and then by this time, then it's totally clean. Vagabond says, I questioned why you painted the sides until I got the last painting in the mail. Yeah, it makes a difference. And like, I get why some people don't because they're like, oh, it should get framed. And like, why paint the sides? But I also kind of like the look of the canvas just on the wall without a frame. And then if, especially if the sides are done, here, like this, like see how it wraps? I think it looks nice that way. And there's kind of like a, I don't know, two sides of it in the art world where people are like, don't paint the sides of the canvas. But um, I like it that way. And then Nguyen says, can you frame something if the sides are painted? Yes. In my opinion, that's not part of the image. Um, on some paintings, I do hide stuff. Um, like some of the older paintings, I would like hide something. Like it'd be related to the image, but it wouldn't be like people wouldn't have seen it in the video. Um, I think one of the Pikmin ones, I did that. I can't remember for sure. Um, but yeah, like depending on how the canvas is framed, it can show off the sides or it can totally um, destroy them. Depends on which kind of framing you do. Um, Thomas has a credit card number. Do I have a frame handy? Give me a second. I'm just gonna stand up and walk over to my closet. I think I have a frame and I can show you. I just have to walk way over around the entire room. Somewhere I have frames. Maybe. I know I do. I've never used them. I bought them. Nope, that's a box. All right, let's look through this one more time. Found them. Are these 8x10s too? Ooh, this is perfect. All right, this is a frame. So this is a floating frame and I prefer this for canvases and I think it, <laughs> it's not the right size. <laughs> Dang it, shoot. Now I need a canvas. Yeah, you're 11 by 14, I need an eight by 10. Do I have an eight by 10? I'll be back again, I gotta walk back over here. Cool, I have an 8x10. Alright, so here's an 8x10. Yeah, Pearl Canvas is not the right size. 8x10. So I like these a lot, especially for canvases, because this will show off the sides of the painting. It sits in here like this. Let me unwrap it. So it sits in the whole thing. I don't think this canvas is square. <laughs> cool. But it sits inside it and it floats so you can see the sides of the canvas. And that's what I like about floating frames because like it's still framed but like it's not destroying the edge. One of the ways you can frame something, this will kind of show it, like this is the back, like that's how it sits framed on a floating canvas. Like it has a frame, but it's around it. Um, I don't have any other type of frame in here, but like an actual frame would just sit against it like this. So you would lose everything on the side that I've painted. 
But that doesn't, like if someone wanted to do that, I'm not bothered by that. Like I'm not like, no, the painting. It's the face of the painting that's the painting. So. Does it affect the paint slash finish on the sides? If it's touching it, probably. Like, will it wear off? Um, no, what may happen is someday if someone ever takes it out of the frame, it may pull that. Like it, mold, it may take the paint off that it's like adhered to over time or the finish, because varnish is sticky a little bit. So like if it's stuck here for, I don't know, 10 years, it may stick permanently. And when you peel it, you may pull some of the paint. So, that's why I'm not bothered by people framing it. Like this isn't the image to me. It just makes it nice to hang if you're not going to frame it. So I feel like it's more complete if I paint the sides. If instead of if I don't. Like there's the bottom of it because it's the path wrapping. The sides you can't really see because they're solid black for the most part. There's green on this one, but you can't tell. You're welcome. That's kind of why I like doing this live because I can be like, oh, well here, let me grab this thing and show you. I think that is fun. <sighs> All right, up to here. So what I think I need to do first is I think I need to clean up this edge. And then like all of this is actually staying carbon black. So like that part is done. I think I just need to fade some of these greens into the black so they're not so isolated. Any more vids on my channel planned? Um, I'm thinking about continuing to make like the VODs into time lapses. I did that with the fruit painting, didn't I? Or Steven did? Did it go on my channel or did it go on his? Whose channel did that go on? Did I make it? Did it go up? I don't know. This has been fun to do. Am I gonna add Pikmin to the side of this one? No, I'm not. It's on my channel? Okay. That's what I was thinking, because I don't know why it would have gone on a different channel. All right, we're gonna start by cleaning up the this edge here, where it sits in front of the sky. And I think I brought too much green here. But that's okay. I'm not trying to make it one-to-one. -one. Thank you, Fossix. Fossix has the link of the time-lapse for the fruit painting. Okay, I think that's all I really wanted to do to touch that up. Now I just need to blend these colors in. Also, I'm realizing I should have done something else over there. 
but I can fix that because I'm still working on it. All right, so going back to the darkest green. It occurred to me that there's like a big tree trunk up here. So we're gonna cover up some of this blue with this green. That one probably should have stayed sky. Whoops. That's okay. And then we'll move into the slightly lighter green just to give it a little bit of something else. And then when that dries, we'll bring a tree trunk in or something. So I'm trying to blend all of like this greenery down into everything else. So that's the darkest green. Or I need you, photo. So that works pretty good. Now we're gonna switch back to small brush. There it is. And kind of do the same thing. But do it a little bit more in detail because like, We need to fill in some of this.
feel like this one shouldn't have, no, it should be that. But that one also should get a lighter color. And the only other thing I think I want to do over here besides fix all the tree trunks is add a little bit of orange to it. I think I need to grease this chair because it's super squeaky. Is this a long song? Oh my God. <laughs> I look up and it's like 60 minutes. I'm like, <sighs> it's admitting to me.
All right, tree branch this way. I'm just giving the hint of some of the trees in here because it feels like it's missing things. Now this is kind of fun music.
trying to decide if this side is done, and I think it is. So what I'm gonna do is make sure all my paints are covered up. Or are we kidding? Next time I paint, they're all gonna be dried out. <sighs> Maybe. We're gonna do a zoom in, but for now, while I'm cleaning my brushes, I wanna do a shout out to my patrons. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me over on patreon.com slash malmakes. If you're interested in that and how you can support me, you can check out the link that one of my mods will have in a second. Thank you, Vagabond. Thank you, Fossix. Um, one of the rewards for the tiers is um, getting access to our Discord. It's the same Discord as Steven's Discord. So check that out if you're interested in supporting me. This brush needs a really good clean today. Let's set that over there. I'm gonna clean off my hands so I don't get paint on the camera. Yeah, that, I don't want that on the camera. I had to pill Kepler this morning. I don't know if you can see on my palm. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six claw marks because he decided he didn't want to have his pills today. <laughs> he had an objection. He sure did. Okay. Let's do a zoom in on this. I gotta move the chair though it will zoom in right there. Oh boy, I hit the computer. So the right side, we'll start over here. The right side is done. And the left side we're gonna still work on, but the right side is done. And we also have to do the path yet. And I kind of think that the orange here is too bright. In fact, I know it's too bright, so we're gonna change that right now. We're gonna take this green and just do a little wash on top of it. That's not working like I want. Where'd little brush go? I think that's better. Now I have to fix the tree trunks.
That feels more natural. Have I tried to give Kepler oral medication through a syringe? No, but um, the new pill he is on is actually an old pill he's been on before. And in the past we've had, uh, they will compound it for us, but they didn't have time to do that. We wanted him on it as soon as possible. So after we finish this set of the meds, we're gonna see if they'll compound it for us. So he takes it willingly. It will make it easier if we go anywhere. Like, I don't know, a charity event that might be coming up. But for the next month, he's on regular pills and requires being pilled. He does not like it much. There, let's just cover up the left side because the left side's not done. There, very happy with that. <laughs> now I have to get the paint back off my hands. There we go. Cool. I did all of that. All right. Is any of my friends uh, streaming? And do we have a raid message for said friend? Nope, I'm not on the watch tab. Let's fix that. <laughs> I kind of like soft eyes. Uh, yeah, Jack is streaming. I don't think we've raided Jack lately. Jack is um, making video game metal music. So I need to go to my chat. I can do this. Um, channel, chat, raid, toxic, x, eat. Oh my god, can someone give me his name spelled out? <laughs> Cause I'm looking at it and I'm like, this isn't right. Yeah, I have it right. Okay, cool. We're gonna raid Jack with uh, soft eyes, firm eyes. And I appreciate everyone being here. Um, I'm not sure when I'm streaming next. I mean, tomorrow on Steven's channel for breakfast stream and then catch us at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Daylight Time for the finale to Moon. And Moon will not take all block. So um, we do have a plan for after that that is related. So definitely tune in for the finale of Moon and stick around because we are going to do something related. I'm very excited for everyone to see the finale. Um, and streams coming up are gonna be, there's some cool stuff happening. I'm very excited. Dark Overlord says, as a reminder to us in Europe, breakfast stream is an hour early. Yes, the US has done its daylight savings time thing this past weekend, so things are a little bit different. If you haven't changed time this past weekend, it was changed for you for what we are. Cool. All right, as the raid is finishing up, I think that's it. There's nothing else I have to announce. I appreciate everyone being here, working on the grease eye as we get it pretty far done. Um, I'm thinking another stream for sure, obviously, cause it's not done right now, but maybe another one after that. Have a good night. Go say hi to Jack. Oh, the zombie's cute. I did have a good stream. I've been enjoying painting. And I lost my chat because I don't have my keyboard here. If I can see it over there. All right. The zombie stream lives default. Oh, it's cute. I like it. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you have a good night. I'm going to go have some leftover tacos or nachos or whatever I feel like making out of all the ingredients. And I'll see you in the morning for breakfast stream.